time you dish with D. That's me. I'm putting together a little food prep. Not meal prep, food prep for the week. So I thought you guys really liked what I did it a few weeks ago. So I thought I'd do it again today. It's not organized. So yeah, but it's what I do on Sundays to prep for the week. So I have what I need on hand because in order to be successful, we need to have our tools ready. So let's turn around and get started. A few things that I'm making to have ready for this week so I can stay on plan. By now, I should have, well, no, this video will be posted sometime this week. It is homemade apple butter by my friend Suzanne from my Facebook group. So I am just having this cooked down a little bit. It's almost ready to come out. So you will see this meal uh, video on how to make this. I believe it's only zero points. I mean, I only had to count one point for the sugar-free maple syrup. So for all of this... I'm not eating all this at once, so this is going to be a zero point pumpkin butter. Nice apple butter, pumpkin butter. It's been that kind of day. This is almost ready to come off the stove. Look at how thick that is. On a piece of toast for breakfast, on top of oatmeal for breakfast. Yep, this is going to be on, on my refrigerator this week to have be ready for meal prep. And what else are you making, Dee? Let's go to the right. What? I have eggs going in my Instant Pot. I have about ooh, 10, um, 10 or 11, so so I have hard-boiled eggs ready for me this week because sometimes you need a snack, sometimes you need just something to make egg salad, sometimes you just need an egg. So I like to have some hard-boiled eggs ready for me in my uh, in my refrigerator. So I'm gonna put these on. As you know, I do the 555 method, thanks to the JPP. So I am going to put these on, and what am I doing next? Okay, eggs are out in the ice water bath. And I have my three chicken breasts going in. I love to have this chicken at my disposal for the week because you never know if lunch, dinner, it's just ready to go. So I'm going to put this in for 12 minutes on high pressure. And then we're going to shred it with our hand mixer and have some shredded chicken for chicken salad, just salads for anything we want, just for even to snack on. It's ready to go. Being prepared is the name of the game and how to get ahead in this WW lifestyle. So that's if you work. So I'm going to put this down. I'm going to drain my eggs and my apple. No, my pumpkin butter is cooling as we speak. Oh, look how good that, that does that look. Oh. oh, yes. I'm a little bit exasperated. It smells amazing. And guess what? It even tastes better. So onward and upward folks. What is that hot mess, D? This is trying to make Grace's oat bread, pumpkin fied. <laughs> Wish me luck. I'm not sure if it's going to work, but let's give her a try. All right, it looks beautiful. I'm gonna put it in the oven and bake it for, I think, 45 to 50 minutes. I can't have to with the time. I did throw a little pepitas on top, just to, you know, jazz it up a bit. But you can see it's orange, so it definitely is pumpkin-y. I did add a little pumpkin pie spice and a wee bit of cinnamon. I'm hopeful, it smells good. So fingers crossed, because if this turns out to be amazing, oh Lord, help me. <laughs> this is gonna be my, this is gonna be my go-to. Best on purple, because this is a zero point bread. I am using the little reusable rubber lids I got on my spring, no, summer clothes box. How do you like that? I am becoming better with wasting. This will stay in and then it's washable if it's on different sizes. So yeah, my pumpkin is ready to go in the fridge in this can. So score one for me, finally. I'm starting to learn. Remember, I'm a work in progress. This is how we learn by trying different things. Miracles weren't made overnight. Okay. Grace's oat bread is out of the oven, cooked for the usual time. It looks and smells so good. This is the pumpkin version of Grace's bread. I subbed out a cup of the yogurt for a cup of pumpkin. I put some pumpkin pie spikes, spice, and some cinnamon. I didn't put any monk fruit or anything. I figure whatever I put on top will, if it needs to be sweetened, will, you know, I have that pumpkin butter and stuff. But oh my goodness, it smells insane. So that is bread prepped for the week. Well, that's it for me in this quick little food prep. I prepped some eggs for the week, some chicken to get, that's ready to go, some delicious pumpkin butter, and a pumpkin 
bread. That's more like a bread. It's not a sweet bread. It's more of a bread bread. If you've never made Amy's loaf, you really need to. Grace. I keep calling it Amy. It's Grace's oat bread. I just subbed out one of the cups of yogurt for a cup of pumpkin puree. Tomorrow, um, check me out my Instagram or whenever I, I don't know when this is going to get posted. This is probably not going to get posted until the middle of the week. So check out my Instagram and you will see what I eat. That's where I post my what I eat videos on my stories. It's just easier for me to do it that way. And a lot of people like Instagram. So I try to like spread, spread the D around. Yeah. Spread her around, man. So yeah, I, I post on stories there. My, sometimes my breakfast and lunch, and sometimes my dinner if I remember. Half the time it's halfway eaten before I remember to go. Oh, I was supposed to film that. Yeah, yeah, gotta love it. Yeah, sometimes hunger comes before filming. I'm sorry, but it does. But hey, so yeah, that's how I prep. I prep things like that. Very rarely will you see me do a meal prep ahead of time. I. Don't, I mean, I like leftovers, don't get me wrong, but I don't like leftovers on purpose. <laughs> like, if it's leftover, I'll eat it. But I'm not going to make it for it to be leftover. That's my thing. And plus, I do have the time to make breakfast and lunch. So that's my differ. And I'm not a big pancake bake person and French toast bake person. I find they're a bit dry. I just do leftover. So, and I do have the time to make them. So I do like little quiche cups, though. I do enjoy those. We'll see you. I'll prep some of them next week. Would that be fun? Yes, and I do want to make pumpkin bagels. Pumpkin, I've made them here on the channel before, but maybe I'll prep them next week because I'm all about the pumpkin. I don't, I don't know if you could tell. I'm all about the pumpkin. So I hope you guys really enjoy these little... I try to make it as quick as I can because I don't want to like hold you guys up. You know, there's a lot to watch. That was a quick little uh, how I prep for the week. Get you ahead. Get you something to grab. That's... Low and point on plan. You know, I had, didn't have the greatest eating day here. That's all the video. Maybe I'll vlog about that tomorrow. Or it would be Monday, but you won't see it. Yeah, I'm all messed up. I'm not sure when this is going to get go up. But thank you for watching. And if you enjoy these, give them a big old thumbs up. If any suggestions, leave them in the comment section. And if you haven't already subscribed, let me know why you haven't subscribed. I'm curious to why you haven't subscribed. It doesn't cost you anything, and I think it's fun to subscribe. We will dish and prep another day.